Siemanko! Ja mam na imię Kuba i w dzisiejszym odcinku chciałem powiedzieć Ci trochę o węglowodanach i dlaczego to właśnie one są w większości przypadków przyczyną otyłości i głównym winowajcą opony w okolicy pasa. I wonder if you know that I know he's lying right now. <laughs> oh, you got the new Margellas? <laughs> that's what's up, that's what's up, I see you. That's your BMW? Mmm, that's nice. Mm. That's your girl? Zatem to węglowodany są zamieniane w kwasy tłuszczowe i magazynowane w postaci tkanki zapasowej tłuszczowej. Golly. Okay, I see you. But um, I just wanna know one thing. Mm. You ready? Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Always lying to me. Why? You lying so much. Why? You yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. You making it hard for me. Yeah. Every time you tell me something, I figure that. On od razu ma taki GPS i od razu w tkankę tłuszczową idzie. She lying, who is almost like you faking? Oh yeah, yeah I know you lying, but you sound excited, and you know that I know that you lying, oh girl. Cue the rain. Kurwa! I got you. The rain, yeah. Turn on. So what happens when you provide the body with both carbs and fats in the diet? Which fuel source is preferred? Well, the answer is clear. It's carbs. That is, when you give the body both carbs and fats, or more generally, when carbs are available, the body will use the carbs for fuel and store the fat. A teraz zjeb tego pysznego batonika jędrusia. 